My name's Claire Flanagan, I'm a veterinarian. I work at a Finley Vet Clinic looking mostly after people's dairy cows. So we service the dairy farms from here to Daniloquin and right down to the, the Murray River. I had the good fortune of marrying a dairy farmer, so while I can't pretend to be a dairy farmer, uh, I'm definitely a dairy farmer's wife. I think it's impossible to quantify the effect of pestivirus. It's, it's, it's somewhat of a silent killer. So when we do see it, we see trouble with mobs of calves that become unhealthy, stillborns, abortions in late pregnant animals. But there's, there's also the hidden effects of pestivirus, the immune suppression, the poor repro effects, the lowered production. So what we see is definitely the tip of the iceberg. But even then it can be quite devastating. Probably the most obvious clinical manifestation of pestivirus is in the calf shed. So as soon as I'm starting to see disease affecting groups of animals, calf scours, calf pneumonia, pink eye, warts, I start to think about pestivirus. And before I move forward, I know that we have to either rule in or rule out the possibility that pestivirus is behind the scenes. So we can focus on the the diseases that are causing the scales or causing the pneumonia, but if we've still got pestivirus there, we're not going to fix the problem. So that's going to translate to, first of all, an increased labour requirement to look after those sick animals. Then we're going to get the cost of treatments, increased morbidities, increased mortalities, and less replacements for the herd. In the herd itself, we're going to get less production, we're going to get less cows and calf, we're going to get more mastitis, poorer repro outcomes. The, the spread of pestivirus across a herd is, is literally endless. I think the financial and disease costs of pestivirus are massively underestimated by our industry. I do a lot of herd health visits. We'll visit the farm every six to 12 months and talk about preventative medicine, talk about biosecurity plans, and I'll take a VAT sample as a general rule and I'll run that for pestivirus. Introducing new animals onto a farm is the biggest risk to the biosecurity of the farm and the health of your herd. So I try and have very clear strategies for my farmers and very clear introduction policies that include screening for pestivirus before any animals are brought into the herd. But even with that in place, we can't always prevent it coming in. We don't always know how it comes in. And that's why the vaccination is such an important part of, of keeping the herd healthy. PestiGuard is, is an essential strategy in, in managing pestivirus that's already in a herd, but it's also an important strategy to prevent it getting into a herd. So even herds that tell me that we don't buy in cattle, we don't have any neighbours nearby with cattle, I still like to ensure that they're vaccinating with PestiGuard. PestiGuard is an essential tool for managing pestivirus on a farm. It needs to be built into the routine so that it happens every year, and once it's part of that, then it is very easy and it can just be rolled out year after year. Prevention helps keep our animals healthy and healthy animals are productive animals. So it's a win for the animals and it's a win for our farmers.